Greetings, Internet, and welcome back for another Early Mornings presentation. It's been a while, I know, but <laughs> I have returned with stuff. So it's been a bit of a busy week for me in terms of, like, both just stuff that's happened since the last time I recorded a video. You'll have to excuse me, I am really tired. <clears throat> so, first off, between my last video and this one, I've had a birthday. And I'm now 30 years old. Yay! I'm getting old. Fudge. But anyway. <clears throat> and because of that, as a gift from some of my friends, I got this cool throw blanket right here. This Radical Ninja Turtles 2012 series throw blanket, which is going to come in very handy during the winter months. This thing is in beautiful shape. It's like perfect. And I love it. <clears throat> and now, I have all of this stuff. All of this stuff. Even stuff you can't see right here off the edge of the screen that I've picked up thanks to the Goodwill and ShopGoodwill.com. So let's just jump right in, shall we? Okay, so I've been on kind of a, a 2012 Ninja Turtle, or not 2012, a 2003-2002 Ninja Turtles kick. And as such, I have just bought a bunch of the, you know, a bunch of things from that particular series. I got, mostly I got vehicles, got some figures, so let's just dive right in, shall we? So, I got the, uh, oh, well you can't see it on camera right there, but I got the 2012, no, 2003, bleh, the 2003 Shell Cycle, which I think is pretty sweet. Now, this thing other than looking just pretty dang awesome, has a nice little action feature to it. It's got these two little buttons right here. I don't know how well you can see them. There's like a little black nub right here. Looks like a gas cap. And then there's that little silver one right up there. And what you do is you push the black one first, which opens up this little thingy right here, revealing a little missile that you can fire at your Ninja Turtle action figures and have, like, say, Leonardo shooting at the Shredder. Just... You'll never catch me, Turtles! Oh yeah? Take that, Shredhead! And by the way, I think the projectile is really cool looking. It's literally a crushed up soda can on the end of a spear. <laughs> if that isn't lethal, I don't know what is. Then I got the what was it, the Extreme Bike and Turtles Raphael cycle. Now this thing was in pretty beat up, bad condition when I got it. Like this whole dome thing right here, it's like smashed in and crushed to the side, to the point where I had to actually, you know, break it off of there and piece this bit right here back together so that I could put it back on there properly and it, it was a mess. But luckily it was in fact salvageable. And this one has the same feature as that other one, but because it was kind of busted, the button is a little finicky and sometimes... Okay, this is not one of those sometimes, but sometimes that little flap there, it won't like open all the way. You gotta try it a couple times before it'll actually pop open. There we go. See? But after I put it back together and got it looking halfway decent, it is still highly displayable, and that is gonna look great on my shelf when I finally have a place with enough room that I can display my friggin' collection. So I got those two motorcycles. 
and I got a third motorcycle with this certain lot that at first I was kind of scratching my head because I went through the Ninja Turtles uh, website, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Museum, Virtual Museum, and I was thinking this was a 2002 series vehicle. But I looked all over the website on the 2003 series and I couldn't find this thing. So then I actually, like, looked over the vehicle and I saw that it says copyright 1997 Mirage Studios Playmates Toys. And I was like, aha! It's from the Next Mutations toy line. So I went into the Next Mutations series of figures on the website and I found out that this is actually the motorcycle that goes with the uh, what was his name uh, bad boy biker Raphael figure and now a lot of you would probably be saying like oh okay that's cool well it is very cool it didn't come with the rider though but as luck would have it I wound up picking up the little jerk with a bunch of other Ninja Turtle figures from the next mutation, no, not the next mutation line, just a bunch of 90s Ninja Turtle figures a while back. So now I have Bad Boy Biker Raphael with his bike. The only thing that sucks is there's a uh, little missile firing thing on the back here. Let me see if I can get it to pop up. Yeah, right there. That's missing its missile and the handlebars oh, give me a moment folks the thing that there we go the handlebars are a bit wonky from being stored improperly for so many years but what the heck it's mine i get to add it to the figure that i've had that i've been basically wondering if i would ever get the motorcycle for and now i have an almost complete motorcycle Raphael from the next mutation so I'm happy about that. Alright, and there's the bag I've been keeping it in. Another interesting thing I picked up was the Ninja Turtles Pogo Copter from this series. Now, a lot of you probably don't know this, but for this particular vehicle, they literally well, with a couple alterations, they literally just reused the same molds for the, what was it, the uh, 1990s Rocksteady's Pogo Copter, which, unfortunately, mine is packed away, like, uh, deep in my collection right now, with all my other 90s Ninja Turtle vehicles. So I can't just go like, haha, see, la di da. I'll save that for another video down the line. But you'll just have to trust me for now that they like just reused a bunch of. Well, the main chassis is the same as the Rocksteady Pogo Copter, along with the cage here. Well, like I said, you'll just have to trust me on that for the time being. I'm just glad I was able to find this thing for cheap, along with all this other stuff. It's got, it's not in perfect condition. It's dusty as heck. It's got some wear and tear and such. But as I was saying with the Raphael motorcycle over there, I'm not worried about that because now it is mine. <laughs> and I get to put it on a shelf with all my other 2003 Ninja Turtles stuff when I finally have a place to display it all. Now, continuing on with the 2003 Ninja Turtles, I happened to pick up this. Now, kind of in the same vein as the, uh, the Pogo Copter over there, this is the Sewer Lid Launcher from the 2003 line, which uses the exact same mold other than, you know, this fancy little add-on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, other than that fancy little add-on I just yanked off and made a big mess. 
this uses the same mold as the pizza thrower from the original 1990s line. All they did was they kind of retooled the pizzas into sewer lids. Don't know how well you can see the cool little New York City sewer lid grid design on it. Now, I already had one of these, and the other one I have is complete with the big, the oversized, unnecessarily large base that goes with it. But, mine was missing this extender piece, which allows this to hold a whole bunch more sewer lid covers, like I just dumped all over the table. And on the one I already had, I kind of messed up the stickers on it. Because when I first got this, this was from a collectible shop in my town. And when I popped in some batteries, the motor was like seized up and the only real way to fix it is to actually well the only real uh, way to fix it that I know of is to actually you know open up the thing and manually like spin the motor while the uh, uh, power buttons in the on position until it finally kicks over and starts running so the motor was seized up and I had to peel up the stickers as you can see like right here at least I hope you can see it. I keep forgetting how bad this camera is in this lighting. But I basically ruined a couple of the stickers on this, and so I was like, eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's mine. It's fine. I'll deal with it. But then, in the lot that I got those motorcycles with, and that pogo copter, it had this one. Now, I was expecting this one to have the same issue as the one I originally had, you know, the motor would be seized up, it, it would be broken. But, lo and behold, I popped a couple C batteries in there, powered this thing on, and bzzz, ping, 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 it worked like a charm. And it tossed sewer lids like no one's business. And, <laughs> like I just did onto the table, only better. So, I'm going to be replacing this one with the bad stickers with this one with the rad stickers, with the original thing on the top, with all these extra sewer lids that I just dumped everywhere. So I am happy with that purchase, and I should probably not be wasting time pushing these back into the thing, but I'm going to waste that time, so I don't have to do that later. Oh, missed one. And the other great thing is it actually came with the original seat that goes with it. Which is great because if you weren't aware, these things just pop off. And I assume that could be easily lost. Now if you'll hold on for just a second, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go put my breakfast in the oven. If you heard that beeping, the oven is preheated. So here we go. And I'm back. I am back. Did I miss anything, ladies and gentlemen? I hope not. Okay. Oh, and uh, here's the sewer lids that came with this one. <coughs> Set those off camera. Also, another thing I got. Now, there's a hard-to-find vehicle from this set. At least from what I've seen is either hard to find or just it's so popular that people want to spend an arm and a leg to get one. Is this vehicle called a Zenramon Space Cruiser? And I happened to pick up a couple of pieces for it in this same lot. I got this front hatch piece that apparently would, you know, like be attached like so, so it'd open up and you could put all your Ninja Turtles figures in it. And it came with one of these projectiles, missiles, whatever, that was supposed to go on like the back end of it, like around here-ish. Just so you kind of get a uh, you know, feel for the scale of this playset. Not playset, this vehicle. It was like the 2002 equivalent of the turtle van when they were doing their space nonsense. So, yeah. I don't have the full vehicle yet, but at least now I can say I've got parts of it. 
this way if I ever get one in the future and it's missing these, bada bing, bada boom, I'll have a more complete one than I would have originally bought. So I get to set those over there now. Uh, oh, and just yesterday, I finally managed to find some more Ninja Turtle action figure vehicles at my local Goodwill. Unfortunately, they're not like original series Ninja Turtles or 2003 series Ninja Turtles. They're from the 2012 Half Shell Heroes line, but I'm not too bothered by that because now they are mine. Behold, I got the Shell Razor, I believe this is called, or the Ninja Stealth Bike, and I got the 2012 Half Shell Heroes equivalent of the Shredder Mobile. Now this thing is pretty cool because the action feature, you yank down on these exhaust pipes over here and ah, then you catch the Ninja Turtle or whichever figure you want in there and you toss them into this big container back here, seal it up, and then the Shredder drives away and takes them to his hideout. And of course, like I already said, there's this one, which is pretty cool in its own right. With this one, you put your Ninja Turtle figure in here and seal it up, and then when he's running down like one of the Shredder, or the Shredder, or one of his crew, Fish Face, or Dog Pound, some of the villains from the current, well, the previous series, and then when you got them right near sights and you're, you know, like, I'm not going to be able to catch them, they're going to get away. You push right here, and boom, this pops out with this little ramrod thing here, and pow, you take him out. Also, this whole top piece is supposed to open, but the way I was holding it, that couldn't happen, so... So yeah, pops open like that. Now, an interesting thing about this piece is that this is based on a 2012 Ninja Turtles vehicle that is uh, goes by the same name. Also, as I, I didn't say it, but I'm going to say it now, both of these, unfortunately, were missing their drivers, but this one comes with a standard uh, Half Shell Heroes shredder from what I've seen online. This one comes with an exclusive, uh, what, I can't think of the name of it, but it's like a bad boy biker Raphael, like the, uh, like this jerk over here, but it was like an exclusive figure that came with this, which I just so happens to actually already have, thanks to, you guessed it, another Ninja Turtles lot that I got a long while back. So I now have a complete Half Shell Heroes stealth shell cycle with the little figure and that is awesome and also this vehicle right here and the figure that goes with it is actually based on another 2012 Ninja Turtles figure vehicle 2-pack which I actually happen to have sealed in the box don't know how well y'all can see that from the glare but if you notice that Raphael in there with his yellow helmet and his red or his black biker gloves. Let me see if I can't get some light on that. Well here, let me just turn the box around. That would be a lot easier and a lot less dumb. There we go, right there. See, the Raphael right here. It's a basic one-to-one -one copying for this uh, preschooler type set so that the littler kids can play with the same vehicles and such that their older siblings could play with without having to worry about, you know, the choking hazards and the small parts. So I thought that was kind of cool. And real quick, I'm going to set you off to the side and set you off to the side because the big, big Mamma Jamma that I found that came with most of these vehicles over here is this thing. 
which I will show you here in just a moment. Are you ready? Well, even if you're not, here we go. Voila! I present to you, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, the 2002-2003 series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Sewer Layer Playset. Now this, regretfully, is not complete. It is really close to being complete. It's just missing a couple of accessories here and there. And funny story, I actually had to buy two of these to get this one. Because this one, when I first got it, like I said, it was mostly complete. But there were a couple of things missing. There's like a grappling hook that goes in here and a bunch of other silly nonsense. And there's a bunch of weapons on the weapons rack that doubles as the front door there. And unfortunately, I don't have time right now to actually go through this set. This is going to go in another video at some point. But got all kinds of crazy, wappy, wacky, wappy, snappy things that go on in it. But, like I said, I had to buy two of these to get this one. The first one I got was mostly complete. The second one, I was able to fill in some accessories and stuff that were missing, replace a couple parts that were kind of beat up on this one that were good on the other one, and vice versa. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to make for a fun video. And I now have, let's see, I've got, yeah, I've got basically all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sewer layers and other play sets made for the main series toys, not like the accessories and you know, play sets that came with like the Half Shell Heroes or other offshoots like that. I have all the sewer layers from 1988 to the 2012 toy line. I still haven't got that gigantic colossal monstrosity from the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line because that's a bit pricey. But other than that one, I've got them all. Ooh. It's so nice. So, like I was saying, this came with a bunch of extra bits and pieces, including a nice little grab bag of Ninja Turtles from the 2003 series. Included with that set, and yes, this is what I do to keep track of all my figures and make sure I know who's who and what's what. I put them in Ziploc bags and use a Sharpie marker to label who's who and what is what. So I got a Space Hop and Raphael a Battle Bike Mikey. Oh, that's what the name of these things are. These are Battle Bikes. But anyway, I got the uh, Space Hop and Raph, the Battle Bike Mike, a regular 2003 Donatello, one of the first releases from that line. And it also came with this What's the word for it? Uh, fighting Gear Leonardo, who came with like none of his Fighting Gear accessories. Also included were a bunch of extra little bits and bobs for figures that weren't even with this. It came with the shin guard that goes with a Fighting Gear Donatello that I already had the helmet for. It came with the helmet that goes with this Fighting Gear Raphael which I did not already have, so I was happy that that was in there. And I could put it with my figure, as you can see. Came with a random battle axe, which I have no idea what figure this goes to. I haven't gotten to do enough research to figure that out. Came with the helmet to a Fighting Gear Mikey, which I don't already have, unfortunately. But I will eventually get one. And it came with the missile launcher from a Fighting Gear foot soldier. No, I'm sorry, a uh, foot gunner. Which, surprisingly enough, I had this random grab bag of accessories that I couldn't identify, and included in that bag were like a couple missiles and stuff. And as you can see, one of the missiles I had was one of the missiles that goes with this silly thing. So I was happy to finally put that mystery to rest. 
And now, to finish this off, I have a couple of videotapes. Now these two videotapes I picked up along with the uh, uh, Half Shell Heroes vehicles over here. And they, like I was saying before, I was surprised as heck to find actual vehicles from the Ninja Turtles series, from any of the Ninja Turtles series, because my local Goodwill is kind of crap when it comes to that. I've been lucky to find a lunchbox, you know, those uh, stupid vinyl, like, fabric lunchboxes that they've been making lately. I was hard-pressed <clears throat> and lucky to find one of those at this Goodwill. They usually have just, like, junk in this one. So I found these two vehicles, along with these two videotapes. Now, this one I got because, well, it's the friggin' Street Sharks. And who doesn't love the Street Sharks? I'm sure there is a lot of you. But it's got this really cool, nice, reflective VHS cover. It's totally 90s. One of the best parts is it actually has the correct videotape in it. And it stars a figure that I actually have that's going up for a sale on eBay at some point. The uh, Rocker? Rox? I think the character's name is Rox. This guy over here with the ponytail and the mohawk. The other tape I picked up was the best of Wrestlemania. 1 through 14. Now the main reason why I picked this one up is as controversial as it may be in this day and age I'm a bit of a fan of Hulk Hogan and this apparently has clips from Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant it also has picked, uh, clips from Hulk Hogan versus the Ultimate Warrior versus Sergeant Slaughter versus Mr. T, of all people, because yes, at one point Mr. T was a wrestler. There's a reason why he was in the Rocky movies. Also, funny note, well, fun note, fun little side tangent. Did y'all know that Hulk Hogan is actually in one of the Rocky movies? He makes a very brief cameo, but it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, I got this because of the Hulkster. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I think that basically wraps up my uh, my finds for the week, for the month. So, thank you all so very much for coming back and enjoying my content. I do greatly and um, I do greatly appreciate it. That's the word. If you like what you've seen here today and you want to see more, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to be notified of future uploads once you are subscribed. Feel free to share these videos and my content with other people who you think might enjoy these videos. And with all of that, happy hullabaloo and horse hockey out of the way. This is Oxlamation saying, cowabunga, and I'll see you in the next video. Later! <laughs>